Hello again everyone. The other day I received a package from Craft Stash and I'd ordered um, a magazine that came with some bonus things, embossing folder, dies, that kind of stuff, stamps. This one um, is, is by Stamps By Me. I don't know if you remember, Tony sent me a package of products to, to try and to show you the other week and um, you loved them as did I. So this is a Stamps By Me embossing folder which was free. Um, I buy these magazines in Craft Stash when they're sort of often um, past dates um, and they sell them at a reduced price which is a really good bargain. So what I want to do today is to show you how I made this background using this folder. Um, then I'm going to show you um, the process, but I'm going to use this one because it would need to dry before I could make it into a card. So you kind of get the drift. So what I'm going to do is this. Normally, when you put a piece of card into an embossing folder, you put it in so that um, with the front of the, of the folder there, the front of your card will be here. You put it down, so that's the front. What I want to do is to put the um, impression onto the back side of the card. That's going to be the right side. So I'm going to ink this side with Versamark. So I'm just going to drag it across the top like that. Okay. Pop in a piece of card. I'm going to use the right side down onto that, but it's not the normal way that you would do it. Now, a tip that somebody um, mentioned to me the other day, which I think is brilliant. Embossing folders vary so much in thickness so that your machine will need a different combination of plates to accommodate different embossing folders. And this lady suggested that she she wrote on each folder what the sandwich was for her machine, which I think is absolutely brilliant. I've got a Spellbinder Platinum 6, and for this one, I think I use my platform base, my platform top, the embossing folder, and the adapter plate. Is that right? Let me see. I think that's, oh, that feels a bit tough. That feels a little bit tough. Let me try it with a, just one of these. That doesn't feel like enough. Oh, dear me. They do vary so much, don't they? Oops, a daisy. I wonder if I put, oh, this one is a bit bowed. I've been trying to flatten it out a little bit. No, that's not enough. It needs something more. Let me try. Uh, how about a rubber mat? Let me try a rubber mat. Is that thicker than that? Let me try a rubber mat instead of the bottom plate. And this. That doesn't feel too brilliant. Let's try a shim as well. You can see the time you would save if you finally found the right combination and then that's what you used. Let's have a look and see what the impression is like of this at the minute. It's not really crisp enough, I don't think. Oh dear. I tried it once before and what I did was the platform top, that and the adapter plate and it worked. I couldn't get it through just now. I don't know what I don't know what's going on. No, it doesn't want to go. Do they say you're supposed to put it in fold first or not fold first? No, I can't get that through. Uh, the only thing to do is put another shim in, isn't it, really? Let's put another shim in. What did I do a minute ago? Let's just try this. Let's have a look. Didn't feel enough to me. Well, 
we'll try it and see. There's an impression there, but I don't know if it's quite as sharp as it might be. I know um, perhaps a different piece of card again would make a difference to uh, to how it goes through your machine. Mustn't forget to wipe that one. Let me just do the next process, which is to put some white embossing powder over this. There we go. Oh, it's so delicate. It's really pretty. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but in the centre of each of those um, medallions or shapes, whatever they are, there is a little embossing powder. So I'm just going to get a soft brush and just wipe that away. And here, can you see, in the middle of these, there's a little residual embossing powder. So... Just going to wipe it. I don't suppose you can, I can scarcely see it myself. Never mind the camera. Mind you, the camera sometimes sees better than we do, doesn't it? Right, I'm going to now heat set this. So I'm going to probably whiz this up a little bit so that it doesn't take so much of your time. Cool down a minute. So, now we have the d depressions of this embossed with some white. You could use clear, I guess, but if you put white powder on, then it's obviously more definite. Um, less of the, the colour will show. Now, how I added the colour to this was with some Distress Oxides. I used, I think, salvaged patina, patina, however you say it and speckled egg. So what I did was a little bit of this and a little bit of this and a little bit of this water. Okay. And then I just kind of smooshed it in the, in the ink and the water, picking it up, having a look. Do with a bit more here, a bit more there. Very different from the last one, but interesting nevertheless. That's pretty, isn't it? Don't you think? I think that's lovely. I think I prefer that to this one, actually. But I, there was obviously other colours that I did use. It was a few days ago I did this, so I don't remember exactly. But I think that's so pretty. And of course, the, the um, depressions are kept white by the embossing powder. So I'm just clean up here, put this on one side and we'll, we'll sort out making a card with the dry one. I could, I suppose, with it again to, to dry this one off. But isn't that pretty? Don't you think? Oh, I like that. Lovely. I'll put it on one side. There we go. Now. To make my card today, I thought I would use um, the Gummier Pan uh, Dragonfly. And I've got a host of little ones from, um, I think these are Impression Obsession. Bought them on sale at Ali Pali when I went the last time. So I have visions of making a strip, maybe of this, or even a circle. Let's just have a look at some dies and see see what we think about shape oh dear I've got my um let's have the stitched and pierced ones out because I've got <laughs> my press cut dies are behind the the camera support so I can't do that one let's just have a look see what we've got here uh, perhaps an oval would be nice let's have a look an oval that would look nice wouldn't it that's about The joy of this you can that's not bad that's a bit boring if I use the middle it's rather nice but I don't have a lot left or anything else do I it shouldn't be mean I do I think I prefer the middle do I like it that way up it doesn't matter I quite like that I think I'll <laughs> I'm going to grab it I'm going to grab it so let's see if there's anywhere else perhaps I'll 
that's a nice one too. Let's put, let me put it there. It's got a nice bit of depth here. And then I've got more left over for something else. Let's try this chap. Right, this is, this was a top plate and now I'm using it on the bottom. And uh, it, it's got rather bowed as a top plate. The bottom plate on the Spellbinder um, Platinum 6 normally stays pretty good. But this one's what you might call slightly bowed. Right, there's my piece. Let's cut it out. We will have flattened some of the embossing, but because it has been coloured, it will still show. Okay. There's that. Oh, it's pretty, isn't it? Very pretty. Now, to do my um, butterfly, I was going to try and match with some of these. But what I think I might do now, now I've seen this, I may take my butterfly, my dragonfly rather, cut it from this. That would be a good notion, don't you think? Let me see. I think I'll try that. I'll try that. I could always do another one with um, some luscious and uh, I could have a, a strip across here or what could I do? I could do I could do something with it, couldn't I? I'm bound to be able to do something with it. Um, where should I take this from then? I could do with the deepest colour, couldn't I? Let me just have a look at this because this, this would show me. If I look through a gap where a die has been cut from that I want to cut out, obviously I can't see exactly what's behind the wings really, but if I do this, I can see the design and that might, that bit there might be a rather nice design for the wings, mightn't it? Let's try that. Which is, this is the, this is the top one. Pop that in there, like that. Have I got it straight? Yeah, I think so. Let's pop that in there like that. I'm in. Right. Let's try this the other way up. I have to see if I can get some more plates. Right. This was a good idea or not. I can always do a coloured one with from the, the luscious powders. If not, I was thinking I would do my my old favourite, um, a few gilding flakes and uh, the remainder of luscious powders. But I would have had to mix some of these because if you look, the colours. Let's turn them over so you can actually see the colours. None of them quite match with that. But a mixture of them might well have done. I might try later on. I'll see how we go. See how we go. Don't know if this is going to be definite enough. Let's just see. Put that behind there. Do we want a white body or do we want... Um, with a card panel. I had a fancy for these little chaps. Perhaps these should be coloured as well. Let's just have a look and see. If I do them coloured, I can always just um, brush the edges of the wings. Just add a bit more definition. Shall I try that? Let me find a little brush. Like there's some unused ones. Right, with the salvaged. Would it do that way or this way? Not much is happening with that, let's just see. No, I think there's too much effect of the embossing powder on it. Maybe a bit of silver might do something. 
Oh, it has de it has defined it a little more when you see it against that, doesn't it? Right, let me try let me try cutting these tiddlers out from here. I don't have to necessarily have all of them. Uh, I'd like to get them from. I think I'll do them from as many as I can get from there. That means I've got all but two. All but two of them are in this little lot. Let's see. Right. It's not at all what I had in mind, you know, but um, these things come, don't they? Let's just have a look. Uh, it's a bit big. This is the one that's not all, all complete. We'll get that one out of the way. This one is an incomplete one as well. Let's go. Right, the rest are fine. Let's just pop them out. Okay. Now, what to do with this? That's too big. I think maybe a sentiment needs to go on here as well. We need something to define that, I do think. That's a non-coloured one. Um, I'm going to get my fingers messy now, but never mind. I said that was too big, didn't I? Okay, let me just wipe my fingers. Just wondering about a larger oval to sur surround the first one. What's it like? Let me just see. It's going to be quite a thick one, isn't it? It's going to be quite. A... Oh, but if I left it left it white, I was thinking of a, of a coloured one. But if I left it white, it might be more kind of, you know, subtle than uh, a coloured salvaged patina or whatever. Let's see. There's a dirty mark on the side there. I don't know if it's from the dye or what. Can you see just here? Let me see if I can get that off. Oh dear. There it is. That's better. Okay. quite pushy now have this oh look at that oh good grief what did I touch that was inky my fingers I suppose off there didn't even think right let's just turn this over for a minute I won't stick it on this one I can always trim it down for something else just for, for the look of it okay Where's the baby one? Now wash hands. Uh, 
<laughs> Let's stick these together. Glue dot. Onto this one. And the body. Do I need a white one? Do I need a coloured one? Quite like the white one. Okay, glue dot. And here we go. Okay. I always pull these wings up. They get flattened in the post, but they can always be lifted again as soon as the recipient receives their token. Right. Right, so some little ones like this. I'll put these on just with a little dab of glue. Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to bother with the luscious powders. I just, I, I, I quite like this. I just feel I need a sentiment for on there. And what do I, what do I fancy? Maybe a little bit more of this. I think I will probably use this, some of this, for the actual wording and I'll try and find um, a, a, a die with a, a shadow. If I can't find one I can always cut one by hand um, to, to put, put it on but I, I rather quite I rather like that. So here's the other one that's just drying off but isn't that pretty? Still wet down here but I think that's lovely. Make a super background. So, I'm going to stop at this point. Um, I will finish the card because I can't actually decide at the moment what I'm going to do and I don't want to rush it for the sake of saying it's finished. I will finish it. I'll put the finished card on the community tab of my YouTube channel. I will put it on Instagram and I'll put it on my Facebook page. So, go over to those places if you want to have a close-up look of what the card will look like when it's finished. It won't be going on to this um, particular, <laughs> particular background as I, I'm afraid, dabbed my messy fingers on there. That will get used for other die cuts or whatever. So, as ever, please uh, do subscribe if you haven't already. Apparently about 40% of my viewers haven't subscribed and it would be really lovely if you could. And uh, give each video that you enjoy a thumbs up and that would be fabulous too. So thank you again for watching.